guys, welcome back to my channel. So 2020 has been quite different for us as we have been doing a lot more road tripping, day tripping um, than we have. Typically we hop on a plane and we fly somewhere. However, 2020 has put a halt to most of our trips because we've had four trips canceled now. And so we have had a lot of time at home and that means we have been exploring our beautiful state here of Minnesota. And we officially just booked a road trip. We are heading back to our favorite park in the US. Glacier National Park. Woo! If you've never been there, you need to go. You just you just need to go. Now we have not been to all the national parks in the US, so we can't compare them to all the parks, but for all the parks we have been to, that one is hands down our favorite park we've ever been to. So it has been six years since we have been there and we are so excited to get back there. We literally booked the trip two weeks before we leave and so we have been busy getting ready for our road trip. And so with that said, I just wanted to share with you our road trip snacks and meals because Things are a little different this year with the pandemic going on and since we are traveling from Minnesota to Montana, um, there's different restrictions for the states and so Montana unfortunately still doesn't have quite all the restaurants and stuff open so we've had to kind of figure things out a little differently this year. The hotels we're staying in, they won't have any breakfasts available and a lot of the restaurants are like takeout only so we've had to modify. However, I think we have a pretty down pat on what we will be doing and I just wanted to share with you some ideas. In case you were road tripping in 2020 or into the future and most of these items are all going to be more breakfast and lunch related not really dinner related just because we are planning to eat out dinner most evenings unless there's nothing open then we might be going to the grocery store to just try and find like a salad or something and with another thing that we really thought of when we were purchasing the foods for this road trip where we did not want to have to cook like we don't want to cook any more than we have to so we are staying in hotels so we don't have like kitchenettes or anything so we just needed easy healthy meals and that's what these are so so no cooking really involved. You might have to use the microwave, but that's about it. So let's get started. All right, so first I wanna go over items that will be in the cooler on ice. And something that's really important to us when we are road tripping, we do try to eat healthy as much as we can. However, we are human. We do like our sweets. That's just how it is. So we will have some snacks that probably aren't the best for us. However, we are always looking for items that are, you know, a good source of protein and fats and carbs, you know, get a good balanced meal. So I think we did pretty good. So let's get started on the items that will be in the cooler. So as I mentioned, because we're in the middle of pandemic, the hotels are having to change a lot of things. And with that said, there aren't really any continental breakfasts and that will all depend on the state that you're actually going to. Um, but for Montana, there is none of that going on. So we will have to figure out our breakfast on our own. And instead of going out for breakfast, because we like to get up really early and get to the parks early, a lot of times the restaurants that do have breakfast, they don't open till seven and then we're not in the park till eight or nine. And that just ain't gonna work for us. We're early birds. So one thing we decided, we are gonna hard boil a bunch of eggs and that is a great source of protein for breakfast and they're super easy to carry and snack on. So hard boiled eggs are definitely top of our list. Also, we have lots of yogurt. So we both have our own yogurts that we like. My husband likes uh, this kind and they are Greek yogurts. We do prefer Greek yogurt over others. They're great because they're individually packaged and they're easy to just bring on a road trip. Another really easy breakfast item are these pre-made breakfast burritos and you just pop these in the microwave. Now these are the egg, cheese, and black bean. So these are really great. Um, they're 230 calories and they have 10 grams of protein in them. So these are really easy to carry in the cooler and you just pop them in the microwave and there's your breakfast. Another really easy snack is cheese sticks. So we got a pack of cheese sticks. These are great sources of protein, fats, and then my husband got some Wisconsin smoked string cheese. <laughs> He had to have that, so, okay. So these are really good snacks to easily carry. Next is carrots. Now I'm not bringing this whole bag of carrots. I will be cutting these up and slicing them into little carrot sticks. However, we aren't quite ready to leave yet and I don't wanna do all that prep until like right before we leave, just so that it's fresh and everything's ready so they're not sitting. So um, carrot sticks are awesome. It's a great little snack with like a lunch. And just a few other items that I haven't picked up yet because like I said, I want everything to be as fresh as possible right before we leave, is I will be getting some freshly sliced deli meat. That is how we always purchase our lunch meat. We get it fresh cut right from the deli. So again, I don't want to do that until like the day before we leave. And then I will also get some lettuce for our sandwiches as well as some cheese slices. So everything is fresh and ready to go right before we leave for our trip. I'm sure you have seen a lot of our sandwiches in my vlogs from our day trips here in Minnesota. So yes, that is our plan for our road trip out to Glacier is having a lot of sandwiches for lunch.
All right, so now let's talk about dry goods that don't have to be in a cooler and they're easy to pack and easy to bring with you hiking. First, we have these RX bars. Now, what I love about these bars is that they have tons and tons of different flavors, but they are literally the cleanest ingredients you can get in a protein bar. Literally, all that's in these bars is egg whites, cashews, almonds, chocolate, cocoa, natural flavors, and sea salt. That's it. When you're looking at other brands of protein bars, I mean, they're packed with so many different things. So these are literally the cleanest protein bars I can find, and they are good. So these are great to just slip them in your backpack if you're out hiking for the day. So if you get hungry during your hikes, um, you can just pull one out and snack. Another snack that we love to have with us, and it's super easy to slip in your backpack, is beef jerky. So again, this is a great snack for when you're out hiking, you get hungry, just have some beef jerky, it's full of protein, and you're good to go. First, we're bringing some bread with us because as I mentioned, we do eat sandwiches typically for lunches when we are out road tripping or day tripping. And if we get tired of sandwiches with the meat, the cheese, and the lettuce, then we are gonna mix things up and have peanut butter and jelly. So this is actually great too for like breakfast. If you had a toaster in your room, you could make a piece of toast or something. Otherwise, peanut butter and jelly, I mean, can't go wrong with that, right? Another really great find that is the same brand as the RX bars is that they have RX oatmeal, which I am so excited to find this. I haven't had any yet, but I've heard really good things about it. These little cups, you just add water to them and microwave them. And the only ingredients in this little cup of oatmeal is oats, almonds, dates, egg whites, apples, natural flavors, and cinnamon. So they do have a maple kind and they have the apple cinnamon and they might have had another flavor but I don't remember. They might have like a blueberry. I can't, I might be wrong. Since these are really easy to pop in our microwave, they're healthy and nutritious and we can pair these with hard boiled eggs if we want or one of those breakfast burritos that I just showed you. And to go with those breakfast burritos, we had to bring some Cholula with because all burritos must have Cholula on them. So we got that little bottle. And then some more snacky items that we picked up was a bag of this Mountain Trail mix. It has peanuts, raisins, M&Ms, chocolate, almonds, and cashews. So yes, I did buy the kind that had all the chocolate in it because that's my favorite. You can totally go without those, but I figured, you know what? It's okay, we have a lot of hiking to do. I will work off all those M&Ms. I'm not worried about it. We also bought some sun chips just for like our sandwiches. Again, a lot of our day trip videos, you'll see we're having sandwiches with chips. So we just bought some of these for lunches. And if you just saw in our last vlog where we went to hike Devil's Kettle and had lunch in Grand Portage, we had a war between Chips Ahoy and Oreo. And so guess who won, who won that little debate? Which is better? That's right. Oreos, it's a great way to cure that little sweet tooth that I get after meals. And just a little bit of a healthier snack are some apples. So we're gonna bring a little bag of apples too and then we may also pick up some bananas on the way out there. Again, I want them to be fresh, so I haven't picked any of those up yet. So this way we're still getting our fruit in. All right, now let's talk about drinks. So staying hydrated when you're out and about road tripping and hiking and stuff for long periods of time, it is so important. So of course, we are gonna have lots and lots of water with us, especially when we're in the park when it's not as easy to go get water. We have to make sure we come prepared. So we have large uh, water jugs that will be filled with water and we also bring smaller ones for in our backpack. So we will have every single water jug that we have with us are gonna be filled with water. So we stay hydrated during our time in the park. Because we are going during a pandemic, a lot of the nature stores and the restaurants and all the things that are typically open are not open. So getting some of these items is gonna be harder. So that's why preparing for this trip has been really important to us. It's not like we can just go pick some up or something. Um, so we have have to be prepared for this. And probably the second must is my coffee. Nothing ruins a day more than a bad cup of coffee. So yes, our hotel and our room will have a coffee maker. However, how often do they really clean those? I, I don't know. It, it's always kind of grossed me out to use a coffee maker that is in a room that you know many people have used and you don't really know how often they've been cleaned. So guess what we did for this road trip? We went and bought ourselves this mini five cup coffee maker. 
so we can bring it with us and it is our coffee maker and we know it's cleaned and good and this is gonna be our little coffee pot when we go so we can make our coffee that we like. I tried to talk my husband into bringing the espresso machine but he wasn't having that. So that little five cup coffee maker will do so we can make our coffee. This is what we drink all the time. We are caribou fans and this is our coffee. And then I brought all my little flavoring ingredients because I love my mochas. This is not espresso so I can't make them to the T of how I usually make them. However, I, I, I can handle it. I can do this. I'm not worried about it. It's still going to be good. I got my caribou coffee. I got my sweeteners, my mocha stuff. I'm good to go. Typically with lunches, we usually like to kind of switch things up. We do drink a lot of water at lunch. However, I do like to have a cola Zivia typically for lunch. And so we are bringing a little pack of these. And I don't know if these are going to be items I can pick up out there because they're not that easy to get. And then same with my coffee. We are very picky people with our coffee and I don't know if we'll be able to get this caribou coffee out in Montana. So that's why we're bringing it with us. Hubby is bringing a little case of beers too for dinners, lunches, sitting down by a lake or just hanging out at our hotel or whatever. He just likes to have a beer once in a while. So he is bringing this pack of Indeed Brewing Company, which is from Minneapolis. However, when we do travel, he loves trying new beers from other states. But again, I don't know how much of that we're gonna be doing because our plan is to eat most of our dinners out. However, it might be like takeout. So I don't know what the plan is with beer. So he's like, well, I'm just gonna stock up, bring it with us, we're road tripping, so. And with that said, I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> I'm getting my wine, bringing my wine with me just in case. So one thing this year has taught us is that well, at the end of the day, if we went out for dinner and go have drinks and stuff, that's really fun to do that. But you know what we have realized this year? We have loved bringing our own beers, our own wines, and then just going to like a park or to a beach or something and just sitting down there and drinking our own drinks because it's just more relaxing than sitting in a bar and we just sit down on a beach and look, watch the water or sit in a park or something. We have really, really come to like that. So that's why I now pack these mini wines and these are perfect for just throwing into a cooler and then bringing an insulated wine glass. And then you can just fill up your wine glass with these minis instead of bringing a huge bottle. <laughs> but bring the big bottle so you can fill the minis. So see how that works? <laughs> and to be honest, it's probably saved us a lot of money instead of going to buy a $9 glass of wine. I can go and buy a $10 bottle of wine and that was gonna last me a lot longer. So one thing we have realized this year, it has been so fun to just go down to parks with a packed lunch or drinks and just sit there together and not be in restaurants or bars to do that. Trust us, we still enjoy going out to eat, but it's been really fun to have like the picnic thing this year more than we have ever done. So I don't know, I have a feeling we actually might continue doing that. So if anything, a little good did come from this pandemic. So I hope you found this video interesting. I hope it maybe sparked some ideas for you or maybe there was items you've never heard of or seen. So I hope that this helps, maybe gives you some ideas. And I hope if you are road tripping this summer, you are having a great, road trip have so much fun make so many memories and enjoy your time now i want to hear from you guys so what are some of your favorite snacks that you like to bring with you on road trips so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future vlogs and be sure to go check out some of my vlogs from glacier national park because we are so excited to get back out there like i said it's our favorite so of course i'm gonna be vlogging it because it's so beautiful out there so we will see you guys in the next vlog bye guys